Okay, so we're talking about these particular macabres, people. You have external and internal. Your body is, in fact, a, a vessel, a vehicle for time travel, space travel, interdimensional travel, all of that. We go into Nanak. This is going way beyond before there was even an ancient Egyptian mystery school. The ancient Egyptian mystery school was just a... a um, a continuation, if you will, of the ancient Lumerian schools of Nanak, right? Of which the Nagas, we go into that as well. The Nagas who set up the schools of Nanak in Lumeria. The very first to develop this transcendental science of escaping the body was created by a couple. Okay, husband and wife couple. They were the first. Woolly haired beings. They were highly advanced, highly spiritual, and uh, they were the first to break the code for that and set up the first transcendental schools. And they stumbled upon it by way of their love. Just to tell you, just to tell you a little bit, but it was technical knowledge too. It was technology. But it's based on love, it's based on the heart. That's why all Jesus always holding the heart. It's about the heart. Right. Where's your heart? The love, the heart. Right. And Kim, you go through the particular judgment scene. They put the heart on the scale. Hartsfield Airport. So we go into that. We do, We talk about time, too, because really it's all about time. Time is the, the most precious resource. You could print more money. Right or wrong. Someone take you through to the to the wood, take you under the bus and sue you for all you got. You're going through crazy divorce. You can make more money. It's no problem. But time you can't get your time back. Damn. But you can make the money back. Even gold, which is the real, which is real money. Land or real estate, which is real money or real value, tangible, intrinsic value. Even 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 gold can be reproduced. You can find gold in other places. In fact, if you have enough technology, you can manufacture gold. Gold is made in the core of a star. <clears throat> so more gold is being produced in the universe as stars go through the process of supernova. There's more gold being made. There's more land being made. Colonized terraform planets. You see? I'm talking from an individual that's outside the Earth's parameters. I'm out, outside the box. This is where you got to start thinking. Anything can be reproduced. You lose your wife. You lose your family. Get a new wife. Get a new family. You lose all your money. This book of job tells you, you can lose all your money. Make more money. Make even more money. They say Job lost everything. He submitted to the most high he blessed them with even more than he had before. Time, people. What is time? <laughs> it's all about time. My son told me, brother getting sharp too. I'm wow. I'm like, damn. What did we create? <laughs> he said, if you give a being just enough time, they could do anything. A genius may be able to create a robot in maybe a year or two years or genius, right? <clears throat> Take a person with a mentality of a child and give them a billion years. They could do the same thing, right? So it's just about how much time. You see, you see it all the time as a, as a teacher in studying, you know, human nature. You see that an individual they're going to have to, it's going to take them a long time to grow up. It's going to take them a long time or even to finish that assignment. They can do it. It's going to take time as long as they make gains. The other person making gains like huge gains per week. And you can see they are accelerated. Other people are slower, right? Taking more time. Anything, anybody knows anything about finances, about time. Okay. Let somebody owe you some money. Say, I'll pay you back next week. Joker, turn around, pay you back next month, next year, all of that time. As I digress, but we have to get into thinking in terms of time. The fourth dimension is time. 
The fourth dimension is time. We have to master that time. So in order to master it, you have to know what it really is in order to set above time. And once you master time, now you're on fifth density. You're on the level of the magician. Right now, you're on the real spiritual plane, fifth density and above mastery of time. How to charge your Tesla coils, if you will. Your macabre functions off electromagnetic energy. It's electric energy. So you have to bring your energy levels up. You don't you got to have more power, more power. More power to 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 crank that thing up. So we're going to teach you some tools on how to do that. How to use Lemurian rods, sun poses. I'm going to salute to the sun. It's, it's not yoga, but it's sacred geometry. Yoga is a form of, of, of helping to, to wake it, you know, loosen up the energy in your body and think the flow of the meridians and things of this nature. That's a part of it. But there's another part of it that deals with putting your body into certain poses that correspond to the sacred geometry so energy travels through your spirit a certain way and charges you up it charges you mentally physically and spiritually this is part of when i say you have to charge up your body charge up your body how to use tantra to charge yourself instead of depleting your energy especially men all right especially young men Right? When sex is a new thing to you, it's so fresh, it's amazing, you can't get enough, you deplete all of this energy, and all of that depleting of energy is taking life force out of your body. Not everybody has the same level of illumination, okay? Let me just say that too. Some guys could, could do that, do that, do that, and still knocking people out. Mike Tyson, they still, do, they still are a raging bull, you see? In fact, they need that to keep themselves grounded and calm. Other guys, you do that too much, you're going to be a, a lump of jelly. You see, you're going to have a lot of problems. You're going to have a lot of problems in life, with success, with women. You depleting all your energy. And your, uh, your lifespan is going to be shorter. And that's another thing, as I digress. They also want to shorten these lifespans on this planet. One of the reasons why they say man shall not... Uh, uh, the son of man... Pretty much they were saying his days will be 120. OK, the spirit shall not always strive with man. His days will be 120. That's in the Bible. And that's speaking to the mere fact that they want they needed to cut off the age at 120 genetically. Right. And this is just speaking to your genetic code. You have programmed death inside your code. They put that in there. Do you realize that? Cellular program death. This is why you have tortoises that could live like 200 years old. Right. But a dog. Family member just lost his dog, man. The dog lived 12 years old and that was an elderly dog. 12 years old. They ain't dog didn't eat any junk food, got plenty of exercise they didn't smoke or drink. <laughs> The way people treat these dogs like human, you think they smoke and drink, sit up and drink tea and things of this nature. My point is this. Why the dog only live 12 years old? Because it was programmed <laughs> to have that short lifespan. See, you programmed to have that short lifespan. So the whole point is right now with how fast things are moving, people getting knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. They got to shorten the lifespan again. So. 80 years and people living longer than this because of this health breakthroughs is causing people to what? Wake up. They starting to figure things out. So they got to shorten the lifespan and put wipe your memory, put you back in the body. Keep this thing going. Uh, meditation rituals to activate your macabre. Uh, we go into that. How to set your spiritual GPS. Knowing your destination is all about knowing your purpose. For your, your, your destination is your purpose. Why are you here? What are you doing? Is it just to work and eat and sleep and, and, and reproduce? Work, sleep, eat, reproduce. Have a vacation, relax, enjoy yourself. Is that it? Is that, is that your whole purpose? Well, you're just like an animal if that's the case. It's, it's got to be something more than that. 
Okay. So the purpose and the whole point, why do you want to activate your Merkaba? Why? I saw somebody's video. He said, you know, how to open your pineal gland. Why would I want to do that? Right. What's the point? Why do you want to lose the dream? Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? What's the point? Okay. So it's much more. I'm just scratching the surface from time to time. I got to let you know the type of information we're dealing with. Uh, so you can see that this is the real deal and you're not going to find this anyplace else. And as I let you go, I want to leave you with this. This is this is the, the, the realm of the heart. You're actually. You're actually in your heart right now, the state of your heart. The state of your heart creates your world. Remember, I said your Merkaba, right? Energies, it flows from your heart. Okay. When the Egyptians codified the judgment scene, it came to pass as an initiate who had just passed away. And where, does, where do they go? They go to the halls of Amenta. I just told you earlier, the halls of Amenta is where new species are born. It's the ovum of the planet. So you go back to the ovum. You go back to the core of the planet. Okay? Don't think physically. It's energetically. It's spiritually. You go to the source. You go to the, where you came from. And the halls of Amenta 